Good evening to all of you, brothers and sisters, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary. The Church celebrates today the Solemnity of the Annunciation of the Lord. Our Mass presider is Rev. Father Bell San Luis SVD. Our Eucharistic celebration and devotion to St. Jude Thaddeus will now begin. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, I welcome you all to our uh, novena to St. Jude Tadeus. Um, and um, we pray for your intentions, uh, especially for those who are really hard up, um, not only uh, in health, but also under economic uh, condition at this time. St. Jude in his letter says, May mercy, peace, and love be yours in abundance. Through the intercession of St. Jude, let us approach with confidence God and ask him to give us the graces we need to follow faithfully his son, Jesus Christ. Let us pray. <clears throat> o God, who by the blessed apostles have brought us to acknowledge your name, graciously grant through the intercession of Saint Jude that the church may constantly grow by the increase of the peoples who believe in you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. But as for you, beloved, build up yourselves upon your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit. Litany to St. Jude Lord, have mercy on us. 
Lord, Lord have, have mercy, mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, Christ graciously hear us. hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Christ, Christ graciously hear, hear us. God the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Saint Jude, relative of Jesus and Mary, pray, pray for, for us. us. Saint Jude, raised to the dignity of an apostle, pray, pray for, for us. us. Saint Jude, who had the honor of beholding the Divine Master, humble himself to wash his feet. Pray, Pray for us. Saint Jude, who at the Last Supper received the Holy Eucharist from the hands of Jesus. Pray, Pray for, for us. Saint Jude, who after the profound grief which the death of your beloved Master caused you, had the consolation of beholding him risen from the dead and of assisting at his glorious ascension. Pray, Pray for, for us. us. Saint Jude, who was filled with the Holy Spirit on the day of the Pentecost. Pray, Pray for, for us. us. Saint Jude, who preached the gospel in Persia. Pray, Pray for, for us. us. Saint Jude, who converted many people to the faith. Pray, Pray for, for us. us. Saint Jude, who performed wonderful miracles in the power of the Holy Spirit. Pray, Pray for, for us. us. Saint Jude, who restored an idolatrous king to health, both of soul and body. Pray, Pray for us. Saint Jude, who imposed silence on demons and confounded their oracles. Pray, Pray for, for us. us. Saint Jude, who foretold to a weak prince an honorable peace with his powerful enemy. Pray, Pray for, for us. Saint Jude, who took from deadly serpents the power of enduring man. Pray, Pray for, for us. Saint Jude, who, disregarding the threats of the impious, courageously preached the doctrine of Christ. Pray, Pray for, for us. Saint Jude, who gloriously suffered martyrdom for the love of your divine Master. Pray, Pray for, for us. us. Novena prayer. Together we pray. Saint, Saint Jude, Lord, glorious, glorious apostle, faithful servant and friend, friend of Jesus, Jesus the, the name of the person who betrayed our Lord has caused you to be forgotten by many, but the true church invokes you universally as the patron of the desperate. Pray for me who is miserable. Pray for me that I may finally receive the consolations and the suffer of heaven in all my necessities, tribulations and sufferings, particularly the following. And that I may bless God with the elect throughout eternity. Saint Jude, worker of miracles, please pray for me. Saint Jude, the helper of the hopeless, please pray for me. Amen. Prayer for the sick. Grant unto Almighty and Eternal God everlasting health to those who believe. Hear us for the sick for whom we implore the aid of your tender mercy, that being restored to bodily health, they may give thanks to you in your church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Together we acclaim, Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke you. Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke you. Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke you. Saint Jude, Saint Jude, help, help of the hopeless, aid me in my, in my distress. distress. Saint Jude, help, help of the hopeless, aid me in my distress. Saint Jude, help, help of the hopeless, aid me in my distress. <coughs> now we proceed uh, to our uh, feasts of uh, today and uh, this uh, the uh, Feast of the Annunciation.
Let us pray. <clears throat> Let us serve. O God, who willed that your word should take on the reality of human flesh in the womb of the Virgin Mary, grant, we pray, that we who confess our Redeemer to be God and men may merit to become partakers even in his divine nature, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, As for a sign from the Lord your God, let it be deep as the nether world, or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask, I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David, it is not enough for you to weary people. Must you also weary God? Therefore, the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. Sacrifice or oblation you wished not, but ears open to obedience you gave me. Holocausts or sin offerings you sought not. Then said I, Behold, I come. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. In the written scroll it is prescribed for me. To do your will, O my God, is my delight, and your law is within my heart. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. I announce your justice in the vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips, as you, O Lord, know. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. Your justice I kept not hid within my heart. Your faithfulness and your salvation I have spoken of. I have made no secret of your kindness and your truth in the vast assembly. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, it is impossible that the blood of bulls and goats take away sins. For this reason, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me. In holocaust and sin offerings you took no delight. Then I said, as is written of me in the scroll, Behold, I come to do your will, O God. First he says, Sacrifices and offerings Holocausts and sin offerings you neither desired nor delighted in. These are offered according to the law. Then he says, Behold, I come to do your will. He takes away the first to establish the second. But this will we have been consecrated through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We rise to honor the Holy Gospel. Glory to you, word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. 
Lord be with you and with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory, Glory to, to you, you, O Lord. <clears throat> the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, the virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what uh, was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom, there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, how can this be? since I have no relations with men. And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relatives, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren. For nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, dear brothers and sisters, uh, today we celebrate the Feast of the Annunciation. And maybe we wonder why this Feast of Annunciation is uh, celebrated in the midst of uh, the uh, Lenten season. <clears throat> Bakit uh, dito sa uh, month ng uh, Marso? Well, uh, one reason is, you know, March 25, if uh, you uh, uh, count that uh, to nine months, then the ninth month and day will be uh, December 25. So uh, this then started the uh, uh, conception uh, of uh, our Lord and the uh, uh, giving of the fiat uh, or the approval of our Blessed Mother to become the Mother of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Well, what can we learn from this Feast of the Annunciation and our Blessed Mother, Our Lady of the Annunciation? Well, 
Uh, one thing that we can uh, learn from the life of our Blessed Mother is uh, that in spite of the fact that uh, she gave her fiat, her approval to the uh, uh, will or the word of the Father that uh, she should be the mother of Jesus Christ. We know that uh, the life of our Blessed Mother was not uh, spared of sufferings, of hardships that came into her life. So, for example, uh, when uh, our ble uh, Blessed Lord was uh, <coughs> born and King Herod wanted to kill him, well, uh, it was a very difficult uh, uh, situation they were in because Herod uh, wanted to kill him and in fact he killed uh, uh, the infants at two, two years and below. So Joseph and Mary had to flee into Egypt. So yun, paghihirap. At syempre po, yung paghihirap ng ating mahal na birhen would reach its uh, peak when our Lord Jesus Christ was uh, dragged from one court to the other, carried his cross, and to be crucified in Calvary. So you, you, you see, my dear brothers and sisters, that even though Mary was the mother of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, that uh, she also experienced, he went through a lot of sufferings. And this is what we can learn from the life of our Blessed Mother. That we also in our life here in this world cannot escape sufferings, hardships, and trials. And um, it is, uh, we cannot evade uh, sufferings. For example, um, you know that uh, <clears throat> Um, incident about these uh, uh, two doctors who were working and serving those uh, COVID patients in Cebu. You know, they uh, really sacrificed their time in order to serve these people. So many of them were uh, suffering from the uh, pandemic. And, uh, you know, because of this um, visits, uh, treatments uh, to these uh, patients, well, one of the doctors, uh, they were husband and wife. Well, she got uh, uh, tired, fatigue, and then it turned out that uh, she was tested as positive. Then, you know, after a week, the uh, wife also tested positive. And eventually, well, the husband died first. And after a few days, also the wife. And the wife didn't know even that the husband had died already. Now, the uh, children, one of the children uh, said, I cannot uh, understand uh, the will of God for my father and mother. I, uh, I really find it difficult that uh, both of them had to live and, you know, one after the other. So, uh, dear brothers and sisters, indeed in our life, um, there are things that we cannot understand and trials that come into our lives. And sometimes we uh, 
our faith in the Lord is uh, shaken and sometimes we are helpless and not to know what to say. Well, like I said a while ago, it is really part and parcel of our life, sufferings. And um, our Lord himself, at the Garden of Gethsemane, when he was about to be arrested already, and he asked the Father, Father, take this cup of suffering away from me. And he prayed to the Father. But then, but not my will, he said, but your will be done. So, uh, did the Father take away his sufferings, his sufferings of terrible sufferings and crucifixion? No, our Lord had to go through this. And that is why, indeed, there are certain things that we cannot understand, but our Lord tells us to go on because the passage to eternal life is through suffering and death, but the passage is also to the resurrection. My dear brothers and sisters, let us uh, therefore pray, especially today, to our Blessed Mother and ask that uh, she will strengthen our faith in the Lord through our trials, difficulties, hardships. And let us remember what uh, St. Paul said, that if we suffer and die with Christ, then we will rise also as in Christ in the resurrection. Amen. Let us pray the creed. I believe in God, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven, of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the, the Father before, before all ages, ages. God, God from God, light, light from God. light, true God from true God begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and we became man. man. For, for our, our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. Pilate. He, he suffered death, death and was buried, and rose, rose again, again on the third, third day, day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and this kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Through the faithful obedience of the Blessed Virgin Mary, God takes flesh among us. The mystery of the Incarnation calls us to our loving Father, through the incarnate Son, let the response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may be seen as the incarnation of the working body of Jesus Christ, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That people of goodwill may learn that Christ has united himself with every person in taking our human nature, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. 
that scientists and technologists may work with noble ideals for further human dignity and happiness. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That pregnant mothers may welcome the new life as Mary welcomed her son. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our leaders, government officials, that the Holy Spirit may guide them to make sound and swift policy decisions to fight this public health crisis and that they put the welfare of the general public first above self-interests. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who have died may be forgiven of their sins. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We now pray for our personal intentions. We include also uh, <coughs> the intentions of Lita Alano, um, our uh, uh, Rosie Suntai, Johnny and Helen C, Paul Carl Galang, Mary Rose uh, Navarro, Joe Valencia, um, Maria Anita Alanis, uh, Nora Abdullah, uh, Bernadette uh, Del Valle, Hermi Andrew, and Andrew Ang. Father of the Incarnate Word, we bring our intentions before you, the fabric of our daily lives, made holy by your Son, our brother in the faith who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, Almighty God, to accept your church offering, so that she who is aware that her beginnings he in the incarnation of your only begotten Son may rejoice to celebrate his mysteries and his solemnity who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the Virgin Mary heard with faith that the Christ was to be born among men and for men's sake by the overshadowing power of the Holy Spirit. Lovingly, she bore him in her immaculate womb that the promises that the children of Israel might come about and the hope of nations be accomplished beyond all telling. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. <laughs> rightly gives you praise for through your son our lord jesus christ by the power and working of the holy spirit you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore o lord we humbly implore you that by the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to your consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For in the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given out for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, 
we offer you in thanksgiving the holy and living sacrifice. Look with favor upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of Christ and filled with the Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, especially uh, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed uh, apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saints Arnold and Joseph, and with all the saints that is constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice and our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Pope Francis, our bishop, <clears throat> Honesto, the order of bishops, the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own, especially uh, our uh, brothers and sisters who have joined us in our live streaming. In your compassion, merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. And to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, Amen. through whom we bestow the world and all its good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> now, dear brothers and sisters, let us pray the prayer of our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the, for kingdom, the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. You who live and reign 
forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, let us uh, pray for peace in our families and uh, the world on this uh, on neighborhood of Southeast Asia, Myanmar, as well as uh, those who are causing uh, uh, racism. Uh, we pray for reconciliation and forgiveness. The peace of the Lord be with you and always. always with you. And with you. Lamb of God, you take, you take away the sins, sins of the world, world have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy Lord. that you should enter and under my roof, but Lord, only say, say the word, and my soul shall be healed. <laughs> the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Amen. Act of a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Confirm in our minds the mysteries of the true faith, we pray, O Lord, so that confessing that he who was conceived of the Virgin Mary is true God and true man, we may, through the saving power of his resurrection, merit to attain eternal joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body. Strengthen their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other See us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Saints Arnold Johnson and Joseph Reynadimit. Pray for us. Please be seated for some announcements. The Diocese of Cubao has decided to declare a lockdown of its parish churches for the period March 22 to April 4, 2021. And the liturgical services for, for that period, March 22 to April 4, which are live streamed online, via Facebook and YouTube are as follows. For weekdays, 6.20 a.m. and 6 p.m., as well as on Saturdays. For Sundays, 8 a.m., 10 a.m., and 4 p.m. We invite everyone to join us online via live stream during our Holy Week activities. Palm Sunday Masses, March 27, Saturday, anticipated 6 p.m. Mass, and March 28, Sunday, 8 a.m., 10 a.m., and 4 p.m. There will be a Lenten recollection on Holy Monday to Holy Wednesday, March 29 to 31, during the 6 p.m. Mass. Holy Wednesday, there will be an online pabasa at 2 to 4 p.m. Holy Thursday, April 1, 8.30 a.m. Lods, 2 p.m. Virtual Visita Iglesia and Stations of the Cross, 5 p.m. Mass of the Lord's Supper. On Holy Friday, April 2, 8.30 a.m. Lods, 9 a.m. Stations of the Cross, 3 p.m. Celebration of the Lord's Passion and 5 p.m. Devotion to the Sorrowful Mother. Thank you.
Before the final uh, blessing, I would like to thank you all brothers and sisters, especially uh, our, um, <coughs> um, our uh, brothers and sisters who are joining us in this uh, live streaming. To thank you for the uh, love offerings that you have been giving to this fine Jesus the Divine Word. At nagpapasalamat din ako sa pag-respond ninyo sa appeal to help our uh, seminarians who are studying here in uh, uh, Christ the King Seminary. And the uh, prefect of the seminarians, or the one in charge, Father uh, Sherman Arumin. So we're here. Well, uh, uh, we are both thankful uh, for all your help and support. So let us continue to uh, uh, help our seminarians because I've been always saying that uh, seminarians are very important. Without them, we cannot have uh, priests, we cannot have missionaries, we cannot have bishops and even holy fathers. Kaya po uh, sana ipagpatuloy ninyo ang uh, pagtulong ninyo sa ating seminarians here in Christ the King. So if you would like to uh, send your donation, you may uh, send an email uh, to my address, uh, bellsbd at gmail.com. So, Father Bell, Isabella San Luis, Gmail, Bell SVD at uh, gmail.com. And uh, my um, uh, video savings account is uh, number 000 5163. So, thank you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us now go to love and serve the Lord with our Blessed Mother, Our Lady of the Annunciation, and Saint Jude Tadeus. Thanks be to God. Thank you.